We are here with Lynn Mills. Um, so Lynn, tell me a little bit about the dish we made today. It was chicken marsala. It's an easy dish that you can do with either chicken, uh, pork, or veal. It's quick. You can cut the recipe in half for two people. You can double it, triple it, quadruple it. Great leftover, reheats well, um, and it can be frozen. Well, tell me about how you learned to make this particular dish. I took a class at the stock pot, and Chef Don McMillan taught the class. And well, I know you were telling me that the beef stock um, in it kind of gives it a different flavor. What kind of flavor does it give the dish? It makes it richer. Okay. So what do people normally use? Chicken stock. It's chicken stock. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, tell me a little bit about how you first started to learn how to cook. Got interested after I got out of school and then after I got married, wanted to learn more and started taking cooking classes. Now, you said you've taken a lot of cooking classes. Tell about, me a little bit. About 65. 65. And it was everything from uh, hors d'oeuvres, baking bread, um, pastry classes, also international food, Chinese, um, Thai, Indian, Mexican, um, Hungarian. So why do you like, like cooking? What do you like about it? It's relaxing. It's part of a creative process and I enjoy anything that's, you're creating something. Knitting, sewing, that's what kind of atmosphere do you like in the kitchen? Do you like for it to be quiet? Do you like to have people in and out? Do you like to have the radio on? Any of, and all of the above. <laughs> now, what kind of cook would, how would you describe yourself as a cook? Are you someone that's always looking for something new? Or, you know, are you kind of stick to the things you already know? What? No, I like learning new things. I like cookbooks. I can sit down and read them like a novel. And I've got a fairly big cookbook collection. Where do you find most of your recipes? Is it in cookbooks or do you look on the internet in any websites? Uh, yeah, just if, I, if there's something I want to make, I just Google it. Okay. And then look through and see which recipe looks good. What kind of advice would you give to someone like me who isn't that good in the kitchen? Um, Be fearless. <laughs> just go for it. <laughs> now, what do you do if you make a meal and it doesn't turn out the way that you expected? You put it in the garbage disposal and call pizza. <laughs> <laughs> well, you tried it a second time. Are you the kind of person that would try again? or? Yes, as a matter of fact, um, right after we got married, I pulled out a recipe from Southern Living that was a chicken enchilada recipe. Sounded great. We were having company. So I made these chicken enchiladas and I tasted the filling and I tasted the sauce and it tasted pretty good. We got it all put together. Three of us couldn't eat it. <laughs> it was awful. Fortunately, I had also made tacos. So three of us ate tacos. The, um, Steve, the other girl's husband, he had seconds of the enchiladas. <laughs> he would eat anything though. But yes, I did try the dish again, and yes, it was just as bad the second time, and I've never made it again. 